Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we are going to learn how to enroll Rigi user on Webflow submission. So here I am an online educator and online course provider and I'm managing the content of the course as well as the users of the course with the help of learning management platform that is Rigi. Now here in order to take the registrations for the course, I have created a special registration form with the help of Webflow and I've attached it on my website. Now my objective is that when an interested student for the course is going to submit that form with their details, I want to directly enroll that person as a user in Rigi course. So to automate this entire process, I will have to build a connection between Webflow and Rigi and that we are going to do without any coding and any programming skills simply with the help of Pabli Connect. So if you also want to learn this amazing automation step by step for your business, for that you have to come towards my screen. Welcome to my screen everyone. In this video, we are going to learn how to automatically enroll Rigi users in particular course for Webflow form submissions. So I am an online educator and online course provider and I am managing all the courses, the content of the course as well as the user of the course with the help of this amazing LMS that is Rigi. And here to collect the registrations for the course which I am recently selling, PHP programming course, I have created a specific inquiry form or contact form with the help of Webflow. I have attached it form already on my website and my objective is that when an interested student, an interested person is going to submit this form to make themselves register in the course, I want to add that student or person as a user in that course in Rigi. So I will not have to do anything manually because I'm going to simply automate this entire process in such a way that every time the form will be submitted, the person who has submitted the form will be enrolled in the course in Rigi account. To automate this entire process, I will have to build some kind of connection between my Webflow account and Rigi. And because they are not directly connected, so to connect these applications, I'm going to use Pabli Connect. That is an amazing automation and integration software. So Pabli Connect helps us to automate all of our daily repetitive tasks without any coding or programming skills by simply connecting our work applications with each other. So with the help of Pabli Connect, I will connect Webflow and Rigi today. So let's get started quickly. This is the home page of Pabli Connect where we can reach by typing the URL pabli.com slash connect in our browser. After coming over here, we will find two options, sign in and sign up for free. So in case if you are already an existing user, just click on sign in to log into your account. But if you are a new user, you have to click on this sign up for free button. It will help you to create a free new account for you just in two minutes. Also, when you will do that, you are going to receive 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software software and to test multiple automations. So as an existing user, I'm going to directly click on sign in to log into my account. This is the all app section where we can find all the products which are offered by Pabli. To create our automation, we are going to use Pabli Connect. So let's click on access now. And you can see it has taken us towards a dashboard of Pabli Connect. So on our Pabli Connect dashboard, we can find all the workflows which we have created. We will be able to see all the tasks that are allotted to us the tasks which we have consumed, the tasks which are remaining and the free tasks that are consumed. And also to save the workflows which you are creating for different purposes, you can create separate folders. Okay, now to create a new workflow, let's click on this create workflow option. As we have done that, a dialog box is appeared in front of us, which is asking us to provide a name to the workflow. So let me first of all provide a name to my workflow over here. Enroll Rigi user on Webflow form submission. After giving the name to my workflow, we are going to select the folder. So you can see I have list of folders over here. Among these folders, I'm going to select a separate folder which I have created for all the automations that are related to learning management. Okay, so here I have selected that and now I'm going to click on create. In a similar manner, you can also go for creating multiple folders for different kind of workflows on your dashboard. Now, as we have done that, you can see a screen is open in front of us, which contains two extremely important windows, basically a blank workflow, which we have to fill. So here it contains trigger and action. Trigger and actions are the two main concepts, the principles, or we can say these are the building blocks on which the entire automation works. Here the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is a response towards our trigger. So whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command. Therefore, we can have only one trigger in any workflow, but we can add as many action steps as we want. Now, let's suppose my objective is that as soon as I'm going to receive a new form submission by an interested student or a client in Webflow, I want to add that person as a user in Rigi's course. So here for this, we are going to take 
web flow and trigger and regain action when we are going to build the connection between these two applications we will clearly see that action is going to follow what the trigger commands because when the trigger happens that means when the form is submitted in web flow then only according to the form submission the user will be added in riggy otherwise not so after understanding the whole concept of trigger and action let us quickly start creating our automation step by step to start with the workflow first of all let's go towards our trigger step and let us select our trigger application over here so our trigger application will be web flow over here let's select that so here we have two options web flow version 2 or version 1 i'm going to select version 1 over here then we have to select the trigger event on the happening of which event you want to capture the response from web flow so my objective is that when new form will be submitted then the response should be captured so new form submission will be our trigger event over here as we have done that you can see we have received a webhook url and also we have received some instructions so basically in order to build the connection between web flow and pabli connect what we are supposed to do we have to insert this webhook url inside of a web flow account inside the specific form which we want to connect and how we are going to do that by simply following the given instructions so over here this webhook url is then going to act as a bridge for transferring the data of webflow towards pabli connect whenever a new form will be submitted and that too instantly and with that response only the workflow is going to start every time so let's copy the webhook url and then i will tell you exactly what you are supposed to do so first of all i will take you towards my webflow account we have to go towards the form which we want to connect so this is the form this is the site which i'm going to use in order to capture the response which i have created specifically for taking the registrations in the course so here we have edutech form i will go towards the settings site option and after coming over here from the left side we can see the option of apps and integration so we have to select that after coming on apps and integration when we will scroll down here we have the option of webhooks so we have to add a new webhook over here so let's click on this add webhook button first of all we will select the trigger type that will be form submission and then we have to select the webhook url so here you have to paste the url which we have copied from pabli connect recently the version is already selected over here and because as we have selected version 1 in pabli connect so api version will be 1 over here let's click on add webhook and as we have done that the webhook is added over here as we have done that let's go back and we'll click on publish so here we are going to click on publish to selected domains and the site is published successfully so now we are going to go back towards pabli connect it is showing waiting for webhook response this means once we have set up the connection between webflow and pabli connect now that specific form which we have connected will be submitted then only we are going to receive the response so to capture the response we have to do a test submission by submitting this form okay so i will go back towards webflow and i'm going to go towards the form so here we have already published the form let's go and open the form we'll click on this arrow so it has taken us towards a website so let's go towards the form section and this is the contact form by submitting this contact form the person will be able to register themselves in the course so let's get started i'm going to use some dummy details to fill up in this form in order to capture the response inside pabli connect because this is just a test submission so let's get started with the name let's say the name of the person who is submitting this form is sample and let's say the last name of this person is person sample person now i'm going to enter the email address Let's say the email of this person is sample three four at the rate publicutes dot com. Let's say the phone number is this, and now I'm going to submit the form. As soon as we have submitted the form, let's go back towards Pabli Connect now. We will wait for a few seconds to capture the response, and you can see that the response is captured. So in the response here, we have received all the details. Let's one by one read them. First of all, we have the site ID. Then when we will scroll down, we have received all the de other details as well. This is the phone number of the person. We have the first name, their last name, as well as the email address. This means our connection between Webflow and Pabli Connect is absolutely successful. And now every time the form will be submitted in Webflow. the specific form which we have connected then the response is going to be captured inside pabli connect and because the response is captured our objective is to add the person who has submitted the form as a user in riggy course so for that now we have to build the connection between riggy and pabli connect let's go towards our action step and let us select our action application as riggy then we have to select the action event our action event will be import user 
let's click on connect to build this connection you can see i am already logged into my rigi account now we have two options over here add new connection and select existing connection so if you already have an existing connection with you just go with that quickly but i will show you how you have to build a new one so we'll go towards add new connection and you have to provide a token to get this token the instructions are given over here you can read them carefully but i will tell you exactly what you are supposed to do to get this token so you have to go towards your rigi account from the left side we have the option of dashboard after coming on dashboard here we have have the option of integrations let's select that after coming on integration section we have some other options so we have to select pably over here let's select that we have to enable pably option by toggling this button right and after doing this you will find the api key so basically this is the pably key which we have to copy and paste it over here the token okay done Let's click on save and in this way only we have to build this connection. Let's move forward. Here we have to enter the details in these fields to create a user in Riggy. So let's get started. First of all, it is asking us a full name. Full name of the user. I want to add the person who has submitted the form in Webflow as a user in Riggy. Therefore, I will simply enter the details which I have received from that form submission only. And because the name is received over here, we are not going to enter it manually. We will simply insert it from the previous response only. So let us select the first name. When I'm going to use a space, then I'm going to enter the last name. And this way, I have mapped the full name over here. So mapping is inserting data from previous step like this. When we map our data, it becomes dynamic. That means with each and every new response, automatically it is going to replace. So this means that every time a new form is going to be submitted in Webflow, automatically the response of that form is going to be captured. And as soon as the response will be captured, the details in these fields which we are going to map are automatically going to replace with the new details. And in this way only, we are going to automate the entire process of adding Riggy users for Webflow form submissions. All right, let's move forward. Then we have to enter the email address. So let's search for the email. Here we have it. So let's map it. Done. In a similar manner, now we are going to map the phone number as well. And then it is asking us a product hash. So we can have multiple products, multiple courses in our Riggy account. When we'll go towards the product section, you can see I'm selling multiple products. But currently in which product I want to add the user is this PHP programming. So we have to provide the product hash for this programming course. Let's go towards this course. We have all the details over here and we also have the offering key. So let's copy this offering key as it is required over here in product hash. And we will paste it over here like this. Done. If you want to provide the validity for your course, you can enter it over here and also you can select email option yes or no. Now I'm directly going to click on save and send test request button. As we have done that, the response is captured and here it is saying success. This means that the user is successfully created in our Riggy account. So let's go towards the dashboard once again. We'll go towards the user management section from the left and you can see that yes, recently sample person is added over here as a new user. And I'm going to go towards the purchase section of this particular person. You can see we have the course in which course this person is enrolled, PHP programming. This means our connection is absolutely successful between Webflow and Riggy. So every time a new form will be submitted automatically according to the responses of that form, the user will be enrolled in our Riggy course. Once we have completed this automation, we have completed the workflow. Let's test this workflow whether it is running fine or not. So once again, I will go towards my form Webflow. We will open the form once again in new tab and I will go towards the form section to submit the form once again with some other details this time so that we will check as soon as the form will be submitted without any manual efforts whether the user is created in Riggy or not. So let's get started with the first name. Let's say this time the first name is interesting student. Okay, let's say the email is interesting at the rate pabditudes.com just a random email. Now I'm going to enter a phone number. Okay, and we will submit the form. As soon as the form is submitted, now once again, let's go back towards our Riggy account. We will go towards the user section. And here we have the new user. You can see recently it is added. We have the name as interesting student. We have the email and the phone number. And we'll go towards the course which the person is enrolled in. So we have the PhD programming. This means our workflow is running absolutely fine. So what we have done, let's quickly summarize. We have not done much, but we have simply connected our Webflow form with Riggy in such a way that every time a new form will be submitted, by a new student, interested student, then automatically that interested student will be enrolled in our Riggy course. So I hope this automation is clear to you. Also, it is helpful for your business. Thank you for watching.
Not only these applications, but you can integrate multiple such amazing applications with the help of Pabli Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can email us at support at the rate pabli.com. If you want to ask any doubt, you can write us at forum.pabli.com. And if you want to ask about the pricing, you can visit this website given over here. Do not forget to share our videos, like our video and also subscribe our channel for more such amazing automations.